Hello, I'm Phil Henricks, uh, president of Henricks Trading, and just wanted to talk a little bit about the Palouse and uh, the chickpea uh, growing region. Yields are high, quality is high, uh, a unique time in the chickpea business. And right now, today, we're looking at the chickpeas that are uh, in setting pods. We've been growing for about 90 days. We have another 30 days before harvest, and I'm out here analyzing the quality because quality in the marketplace uh, is something that's very important. And as I look at this crop here today, I think that we're above average yields. We've got adequate production for the uh, export and the domestic needs. And uh, we obviously know that uh, the chickpea use is uh, getting very popular. and uh, It's because of such a quality uh, crop, uh, disease-free. Uh, we're just in a unique time for this crop. The Palouse is one area that is amazing. Palouse, it's uh, very generous. It's uh, 25 inch rainfall. Uh, we get yields that are bumper crop, yields that the other countries don't quite see. We have a great dry down season. The next 30 days, we'll start having cool nights. And cool nights help produce a nice quality bean and leave moisture in the seed. We'll harvest this crop at about nine to 11% moisture. It'll store very nicely, up to 13%. Uh, harvest, we're ahead this year. This is 2013 uh, crop. Uh, we're going into above average uh, pricing. Uh, demand is high. Uh, it should be a good one to bring to market uh, in the next 30 days. One thing exciting about chickpea business is the supply and demand and the demand has really driven this market by driving this market uh, you've got to bring a quality product to it and so uh, we start with our seed as we've talked about before and with the seed becomes a grower and you know as you grow a seed you grow a grower and as you grow a grower you grow a market and as you grow a market it just keeps continually going to the end user and you know what we've matured into the end user and they are asking for the farm to the fork and we have had a great time reaching that challenge and every day as a team we try to lead that direction and you know when it comes right down to it it's all about service and we're meeting people from all over the world uh, we're answering the domestic needs and meeting new boutique type of hummus makers cracker makers flour makers um, canning market has grown uh, this is exciting for the full industry and that means that you know there's so many people growing them here our growers have changed from uh, in their pulse needs to not breaking even but to a cash crop and it's an expensive crop to grow but the return factor has just been amazing <music> Hendrix has got started uh, back and my great-grandfather came here and started processing grass seed and it just uh, leapfrogged right through the to the third generation and my father went to Mexico and brought chickpeas uh, to the United States and introduced them to myself which I'm the fourth generation and now president of the company and we have taken an active role in uh, processing chickpeas and bringing them to this grower base and bring the genetics and the seed here and uh, we have now the fifth generation also in operations and uh, we're having a great time uh, learning more about this crop and the growers have caught on with it. You just get really a big reward working with family at this time and, and especially in this uh, place when you know not everybody gets to work with families and this is exciting. Chickpeas have been very helpful of giving us that opportunity. The challenges that we see here are basically the genetics of the seed and avoid disease. To keep this crop productive and the acres growing, we need good genetics. Well, Washington State University is located right in Pullman, Washington, where our world headquarters are, and we have a great relationship working directly with the breeders. And they've taken us uh, just, you know, big step forward of uh, finding varieties that yield, also have disease resistance. And when you have those uh, quality factors working behind the scenes, uh, this thing grows on its own. A lot of people have faith in this crop and they well should. It's proven itself over the past 15 years. And so uh, with the help of many in university breeders and the government uh, support of uh, USDA, uh, we're fortunate. And with that, we uh, put dollars in 
to help uh, bring new varieties on as a company. And uh, we've always had certified seed, registered seed, and uh, it's been kind of the foundation of Hendrix Trading. I thought you'd never ask. I mean, when I start thinking after work what I like to do, first of all, I love to golf. And you know, it's always interesting. You, you travel the country, you get to meet people, you get four hours on a course meeting them, it's wonderful. Chickpea cake, lemon chickpea cake. I ask for it every time, and now I'm finding out they're even making a lemon cookie. So when it comes to chickpeas, I'm all in on the cake, and I'll always love hummus, but I'm kind of a sweet guy, so I like sweets. So lemon chickpea cake.